You know, in the United States of America, Americans should not have to choose between keeping your job and living out your faith. Uh, and that's the position that the city of Atlanta actually has taken. In January of 2015, Calvin Cochran, who at the time was fire chief in Atlanta, Georgia, was fired from his job for writing and publishing a book that expressed his biblical understanding of sexual morality. In the book, Cochran wrote from a Christian perspective that same-sex sexual acts like homosexuality are one of many sexual sins. This case has national implications for several different reasons. First of all, do we want the government deciding that anyone who holds views that are in conflict with the government's view can't work, can't make a living. I mean, that should worry all of us, regardless of your religious viewpoints, your ideological viewpoints, your political viewpoints. It should not matter what views you hold to hold the job. And that's the first thing that should worry everybody. The second thing is, is, is we have a, a right to religious freedom, to free exercise in the Constitution. And that gives the person the right to say, look, I don't have to choose between my faith and making a living. But that's exactly the choice that the city put on Chief Cochran. Chief Cochran sat down with the Daily Signal for an exclusive interview about life after being fired and how he's fighting back. This whole controversy came about because of the specific portions in the book where I spoke to the issue of sexuality because many Christian men struggle with issues of sexual sin and sexuality. Uh, and so I spoke to that in the book, that uh, why God created sex uh, and that God's purpose for sex was for procreation. And to do it his way, it has to be done uh, in holy matrimony. And that led to the controversy. Some of the issues you raise and your own views on homosexuality have caused controversy. And some people say they are hurt by your views and that you are, in fact, discriminating against people who are gay, lesbian, live those sort of lifestyles. How would you respond to that? The views expressed in Who Told You You Are Naked are biblical views that have stood for uh, hundreds of years, thousands of years. Uh, and they were expressed from scripture in the context of the book. Uh, so to say that they are uh, my views is really not the appropriate uh, truth to that matter. And did you ever distribute the book to your own employees? And do you think that they could have interpreted you distributing the book as you trying to push your beliefs on them? The distribution of the book was based upon uh, Christians who I had uh, actually established a prior relationship with as believers in Christ who were actually employees on the work, uh, at work. Uh, and so there were other employees uh, who were uh, recipients of the book based upon requesting the book. Uh, but every person that received a copy of the book, I had already established a prior relationship with them at work as believers. One of the things I found interesting is that the city ordered you to undergo sensitivity training. And you seem like a pretty sensitive person uh, to me. Do you think that you need this? If it was a requirement, um, you know, certainly I would honor the authority that placed that requirement on me, uh, but uh, through the Holy Scriptures, you know, I've been trying to the highest degree of love without condition and love that does justice. So you really don't have any hateful feelings towards people who might be gay, lesbian? No, I love all people and again, I'm willing to die my profession for 34 years was to be willing to die for anyone under any condition where I could possibly save a life. And I'm still committed to doing that today. Uh, and so there's, there's no um, hatred. Uh, I just, I mean, it's the, love is the foundation of the Christian faith. And I, I have lived that out in my profession for 34 years. And after being fired, you are now turning the tables and filing your own lawsuit saying that the government is discriminating against you for your religious beliefs. Why did you decide to fight back and bring this lawsuit? Well, because in the United States of America, we are guaranteed the freedom uh, to live without fear of being terminated or experiencing any adverse action 
for the free expression of our beliefs and thoughts. Uh, and so it was an injustice against me on that basis. Would you even want your job back after going through all this? Absolutely. It's one of the things that I'm pursuing and uh, hopefully I will be uh, vindicated through the legal process. In 2008, President Obama appointed you to the most prestigious position a firefighter can hold in America. You're back here in D.C. today. If you could say one thing to President Obama after going through all this, and to our country for that matter, what would you say? Well, it was an honor. I, uh, I'm grateful to the President for providing me the opportunity to serve as the United States Fire Administrator. Uh, I was supported in that capacity while I was here. Uh, and uh, was blessed to be able to do some incredible things even though I was here just for a short period of time. And I would just encourage uh, him to stand by the Constitution that establishes us as the greatest nation ever uh, and to support the fact that no American should have to live in fear of being terminated for the free expression of their beliefs and their thoughts. You know, governments do not have the right to impose government endorsed belief systems on their employees. You shouldn't have to decide, have to choose between should I keep my job or live out my faith? Because people of any faith, when they're strong in their faith, they would choose to live out their faith over keeping their job. But that should not be even a dilemma for any American uh, today in our country. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure.